so last week when i was in a period of prayer and seeking the lord the lord jesus christ gave me this very important vision so in the vision i found myself uh, standing looking at what looked like a magazine and on the cover of this magazine there were two adolescents they could have been like uh, 12 or 13 years old somewhere there but when i was staring at the cover of that magazine i remember i was thinking to myself are these girls or boys it was very difficult to tell what their sex was you know uh because they looked so they just looked the same and they looked like on the middle like it was so hard to tell whether these are females or males both of them had their hair cut really short and then they wore uh clothes that made it very difficult to to tell you know whether they are male or female and then when i was still looking at these adolescent children and trying to figure out what they really are whether they are male or female all of a sudden it changed instead of me uh staring at a magazine like at the beginning but that magazine it's more like it transformed all of a sudden it's as if i was staring at a screen you know that like a, a tv screen and those two adolescent children that i had seen on the cover of that magazine now i saw them on a tv show in front of that while i was in front of that screen where i was watching them from so they were like presenting a tv program you know for like children of their age it was like a tv program so one of them got up and when she stood up that's when i realized that she was actually female but when she was sitting down there it was so difficult like to tell what she really is then that's when i realized that she was actually female she was wearing um something that looked like a jumpsuit and on, on the thighs it, it was like uh, designed in in the way you know like how ripped clothes you know that kind of fashion like uh it was like ripped all over you know that kind of fashion like on the thighs and then it was like dark blue and it was sleeveless but the other person who was with her also wore the same thing and was something similar was something similar and even for him only when he got up that's when i was able to tell like oh this is actually a boy you know so it was extremely difficult to to distinguish what they really are but then uh when they started to speak they were speaking to their fellow uh children like adolescent children like their age their peers you know it was like a tv show being presented by these young presenters like targeting children their age and then when they started to speak that's when i realized that they were speaking about uh they were speaking about the lgbt they were speaking about being transgender and then they were speaking about homosexuality like they were trying to convince their peers that it's very weird if you think that there's something wrong with that kind of lifestyle like of being transgender or even homosexual and then there was there were the phrase that they were using is that when you when you start to think of transgender people and homosexual people as being strange or refusing to accept that that's a normal lifestyle then they were they were telling their peers on the tv that then you're all just being judgmental you know that it's weird and it's backward so when i saw this then that's when the lord spoke to me in that vision and then he said to me look at how they are abusing the children and then when the lord said that then i had a realization and an understanding that satan really really hated the children that's why he was he, his main target is the children 
to brainwash them from a young age. But then the Lord said to me that not only is Satan targeting to, not only does he hate those children that he is targeting with all his agenda, but he also hates those children that he was abusing and using to pass on the message on TV, but they don't know it, you know. That's when I realized that it was actually the Satanist who was sponsoring those messages, you know, because they are already used to all those abominations. It's all part, you know, all those abominations, whatever is abominable, whatever is abominable in the sight of the Lord, it is part of satanic worship because Satan just tries to rebel against everything that is godly. And so his people have to do all those abominable acts as part of their worship. And so they are the ones who were, the Lord gave me the realization that they were the ones who had sponsored that program for the children, for the adolescent children to brainwash them. And Satan also hated those children, although they were abusing them and brainwashing them, you know, in, in a way that you, you couldn't even really tell whether they're male or female, you know, it's more like they are somewhere on the middle, you know, like they're somewhere on the middle. It's so hard to identify what the gender is. But the Lord said to me that Satan hated those children that he is using. And also he hates those children whom he's targeting with all those messages. <clears throat> and then the Lord showed me that Satan's main agenda is on the next generation. His main agenda is on the next generation. You know, in the same way that he has brainwashed people, like in past generations, you know, even uh, in the generations of people who are now adults. But now what he really wants is the children. Because the uh, train up, the Bible says, train up a child in the, in the way that they should grow. And when they are grown, they're not going to depart from it. So he knows that if he brainwashes them with all those messages all the time, in just a couple of years, it's going to be so normal. Like there's going to be very little resistance against the transgender, you know, LGBT lifestyle. And then when, when the Lord showed me that, then the Lord showed me that Satan is targeting to spread a demonic spirit. He's targeting to spread a demonic spirit of sexual immorality, like starting from a young age. And if it is up to him, what he wants, what the Lord showed me is that if it is up to him, what he wants is to degrade human beings to an extent where they are so sexualized in their minds that they just become like animals. And, and then, you know, I saw the Lord showed me that even cases of incest, they became so rampant because of all that the Satanists, you know, that the messages that they were trying to use to brainwash people, the Lord showed me that it's going to result in human beings being so degraded, being so sexualized in their minds, that to an extent, he wants human beings to lose their, their human reasoning and to even degrade them to become like animals where they don't even care, you know, about all the human values. And, I, and the Lord showed it to me. And I saw incest. I saw abominable things becoming so common. And the Lord said to me that that is Satan's wish if it is up to him. So we need to rise up in prayer. But what the Lord emphasized to me when he gave me this vision was the importance for the parents to protect their children from the demonic manipulation. Because the Lord said to me that it is because of all these things that his wrath 
is coming upon the earth. It is because of all these sins. And the Lord, the, then the Lord reminded me of how when the children of Israel, when they were going to the promised land, to Canaan, the Lord warned them and said, don't take part in the abominations that the heathen nations that you're going to displace have been doing. Do not be part of it. Because it is because of all those things that the Lord is driving them from the land and giving the land to you. And the Lord instructed the Israelites to wipe out those people and to destroy them. And the Lord said to me that it is because of all these sins, his wrath is coming upon the earth. The increase in homosexuality, transgender, and all these abominable things they are bringing the wrath of God upon the earth. And the, Lord's, the Lord emphasized it to me to tell the parents to really, really be protective of your children. Don't just leave your children loose. You don't even know what they're watching. You don't know what they're, ac what they're accessing on the internet. The Lord has given those children to you like an empty slate. It's you to put to put to ch it's you to choose what is going to be written on that slate. So it's you who has to raise your children in the way of the Lord, and the Lord is going to require it from you. So don't abandon your children, but you need to be very protective of them and teach them to fear the Lord, because the wrath of God is coming upon the earth because of all these things. And something else that I want to say, you know, what the Lord told me, you know, the Lord said to me that, you know, I, this is something that I didn't understand even before. The Lord told me years ago to stop using things like makeup and all those fake things like fake hair to, to not use makeup, fake hair, fake nails and everything in that class. And I, I didn't really, really see the seriousness of it as when the Lord showed it to me. Of course, the Lord showed me people were in hell for that. But I didn't really understand. I didn't understand it in this way that I'm going to, to show you now how serious a sin that is. We all know it is a very serious sin, at least most Christians no, it is a very serious sin if the Lord has created you to be a man and then you choose to be a woman. It is a very serious sin. And then the Lord, the Lord told me that in the same way, the same way that Satan, the same way that Satan has brainwashed people and convinced them and told them that you need to change your gender. You don't have to be a man. You need to be a woman or you don't have to be a woman. You need to be a man. And the Lord said that there's no difference with how people, Satan has convinced people and said, you don't need your hair, your hair type to be like this. You need your hair type in this way. Here's the fake hair. You don't need your nails to be like the way God created you. Here, here are the fake nails. Listen, the Lord told me, the Lord told me that Satan's agenda for it to even reach the extent of convincing human beings to change their gender, you know, like from male to female or from female to male. It wasn't something that just came out of nowhere. It didn't just come out of the blue. But the Lord said to me that it's something that started very very slowly it started very slowly it started with satan convincing people saying your 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 face is not is not supposed to look like this you know here here's the makeup make it look something else something god didn't create you to look like your hair is not supposed to look like like this it's supposed to look like this your nails are not supposed to look like this they're supposed to look like this something fake 
your eyes are not supposed to look like this your eye color is not supposed to be this you know and he has been convincing people to change their body slowly to, to an extent whereby some people even do cosmetic surgery now you know it's something that people have been doing for years but do you know that it's the same agenda it's the same agenda only that when you are doing those things of makeup when you're using all the, when you're changing your body into something fake you're changing your hair type into something fake you're changing your face to look like something fake you're changing your nails you're changing any part of your body to look like something fake you are only at the initial stages of that same agenda that satan has now used for those who have climbed up on his ladder now he says to them actually you're not even supposed to be a woman you're supposed to be a man do you see how serious do you see the very reason why people are going to hell for all these things that i keep mentioning and that the lord has told me to keep mentioning do you see how serious if you can think that somebody would go to hell because god created them as a man and then they changed themselves to become a woman if you know they can go to hell it means you can go to hell if god created you with that hair type that he specifically chose for you and you decided to change it into something fake god created you with those nails and you decided to change them for something fake what is the difference with that person who says i'm not supposed to be a man i'm supposed to be a woman it's just the same to the lord with that person who's saying my i'm not supposed to have this face my face should look like this and the lord showed me it's a very serious sin the lord showed me it's the same agenda only that when it has advanced now it reaches the stage of somebody even being transgender but it's the same agenda it's the same agenda of satan which was created because he hates god and man was created in the image of god so whenever satan sees man with the glory of the lord with the way god created you when satan sees a child of god the way that god created them it reminds him of God because you are in the image of God. So he doesn't want that. He wants to change you into an image. He has created a fake image. So he wants you to look like that fake image that he has convinced you through the media and said, this is what beauty is. And said, if you don't have the makeup, you're not beautiful. If you don't have all these fake things, you're not beautiful. To an extent where using all these fake beauty things is now the normal if if you don't use them you're going to find that you often have to explain yourself to people people think that using all this changing your image from how god created you is what has become the normal like if you don't every now and then people are going to ask you oh, why don't you do this why don't you use makeup why don't you do this because satan is the prince of this world satan is the one ruling this this world he's the one ruling the people of this world and he has convinced them so he starts slowly but it's the same agenda the same way that you know somebody who says god created me a man but i think it's a mistake i'm supposed to be a woman god is going to take them to hell for that but what makes you think that you are not going to go to hell when you say oh it was a mistake for me to have this face my face is supposed to be like this uh it's a mistake for me to for my hair to be like this my hair is supposed to be like this it's the same agenda and the same the, and god sees it the same way god sees it the same way and i'm trying to show you how serious these things are that we have been born in a generation that just accepts them we have been born in a generation where they're just normal we were born into such a generation and it's 
only when you start to seek the Lord, that's when you're going to realize how sinful our generation is. The same way that person who's changing the agenda is rebelling against the Lord, you are also rebelling against the Lord and saying, Lord, it was a mistake for you to give me this eye color. It's a mistake for you to give me my eye, my eyelashes. I want Satan's. I, I want. I want to look like Satan's image, because Satan has said no. This is not beautiful, and people are going to hell for this. People are going to hell for this, and I have seen them with my own eyes. The Lord has showed it to me. And the Lord has said to me, go and warn the people. And it's a very serious sin, but it's a choice. Nobody can force you to repent. But I'm, I'm, I'm explaining this in the way that God explained it to me. So that you see how serious the things that we take so lightly are. So we need to seek the Lord. We need to seek the Lord with all our hearts. But we need to protect our children. We need to protect our children satan so much desires the young children like i have said before satan wants the young children because he knows that he he has a better chance of manipulating them than somebody who's already grown you know the the level of manipulation that was there when you were a child it's not the same as now it's not the same as now wickedness is going to get worse and worse and worse so we need to rise up also in righteousness and to teach our children to teach our relatives everybody we need to teach them to fear the lord so that they do not partake of the abominations of the heathens so that they can escape the wrath of god